If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. Gonna start off with the shoulders as usual, shoulder pads of the Forgotten Gate Firelands Balarock, 10% on the drop rate for the shoulders. Now we're gonna move on to the chest, but you really can't see behind the tabard. The chest is the Iron Pelt Jerkin, Hellfire Citadel, Archimon, 5% on the drop rate. So, so far, a little bit of Kata, a little bit of Legion, or actually, if I wanted to be right, be Wad, a little bit of Kata, a little bit of Wad. Uh, the belt, Rune Sworn Waste Guard. Now, this is Legion, Stormheim. It's a quest reward, Shadows in the Mist. Super easy pick. I probably already have it, to be honest, if you've been playing the game for a while. Looking at the legs here, Iron Pelt Leggings, part of the same raid drop set as the chest. So, super easy to pick up. Get a little bit of a group. Run it a couple of times, maybe you get it, who knows. Uh, the Night Elf here, showing the Treads of Dismal Fortune, which is kind of what we all get when we don't get the drops. We want various elites in the Trial of the Champion. Definitely worth it, I like those boots. They go with a lot of other leather sets. Hands, Iron Pelt Mitts, part of the same tier set as the chest and the legs. Hellfire Citadel as a place, Tyrant Harry to be more specific. Moving on, we have a Lady Troll showing the Tabard, Tabard of Summer Flames, Summer Festival. It's Quest Ward, super easy to get, but there's only a small window within a year you can pick it up if you don't have it already. Taria's Perseverance is the headpiece at its Anne's Jungle. You can buy that on the auction house or farm it. And the weapon is Inferno Flame Staff, Blackrock Foundry. Keep in mind, it's mythic. Playing the blues here as a druid. I like blue for druids, and yes, it's kind of in the game. Prideful Gladiators, Kodo Hive, Spoilers. They're blue. They're a druid tier piece from my PvP vendor. Three marks of honor to get the shoulders. Look, this looks really cool on a word, and gotta say. The chest piece of Suspicions, Nax, Ramus, 25 man, normal mode. Instructor Resuvius, 22% on the drop rate for the chest piece. Now we're gonna spin you to kind of almost the current tier, previous tier, the Eternal Palace, Ship Swallower's Belt, Blackwater Behemoth, 5% on the drop rate, so that's of course from BFA. Now we're moving on to the legs, which are part of the same drop set in Naxxramas 25 man uh, as the chest, so the chest and the legs both from Naxxramas 25 man. Next up, we're looking at the legs, can't really see it as well on a Torrent here, but you saw it pretty good on the other pieces or the other models, so to speak. Tyrant Valhari drops the oppressor's merciless treads. Hellfire Citadel, 15% drop rate. Look at that cloak. Cloak really works. Uh, the gloves, Eye of Ashara. Uh, that's dungeon, obviously. Uh, you're looking at Bitter Brine Scavengers that drop those hands. Moving on to a Lady Zondalari Troll. High Tinker's Cape. I really like this cape a lot. Uh, Battle of Dazzle Ahar. Pick that up. The headpiece, Wild Gladiator's Helm. If you hoard, you gotta be a warmonger to get that piece. Wad PvP vendor, three marks of honor. And the weapon is straight out of Dragon Soul LFR from Elementium Fragments. I've always liked that Corrupted Forest look for Druids, and this kind of says it. Corrupted Forest meaning red. Uh, Deep Earth Mantle. Dragon Soul, LFR, Hagger of the Storm, Binder, 22% drop rate for those shoulders. One of my favorite looking tiers, from, by the way, for Druids, all three looks. Uh, Sky Singer Vest, Spires of Iraq. You're looking at a quest reward, super easy to pick that chest piece up. Moving on to the belt, which is going to spin us to Mop, Throne of Thunder, Swen, Girdle of Night and Day, 5% on the drop rate. That's where you kind of really get that haunted corrupted forest druid look with that tear from Throne of Thunder as well. Uh, you're looking at the uh, Sky Singer Breaches, uh, Spires of Iraq, Hot Seat, it's quest reward, super easy to get. So a couple of these pieces are you probably already have if you ventured into Spires of Iraq. Uh, Treads of Sword and Screams or Dreams, not sure which it is, but uh, Dragon Soul LFR, The Hands, Deep Earth Gloves, Dragon Soul LFR, Warlord Zanaz. If you guys could translate what he's saying, let me know. I have no clue. I think this set looks really cool on a worgen. Of course, you could always hide the headpiece. Waycrest Guards, Cloak, Dressfar, Alliance Only on the uh, cloak. Orange Marshall shirt is kind of subtle, but it's there. So keep that in mind. Vanilla level tailoring. The headpiece, Imposter's Mask, Felwood. 
the fall of Tychondrius, its quest reward. So that's an old school quest from Kata, the update there. And Uldir Mythic is where you're going to get the weapon. Yeah, this is a bit of a monk look, but I, I just, I liked it for druids as well. So you could always go with this for your monk as well. Uh, Usurpers, Blood Cake Spalders, will do your Heroic Zul, uh, kind of a low drop rate, but look at that, it really works with this set, that color ep epic with the Spirebreaker Harness, Tomb of Sargeras Mythic, Garoth, kind of a fair drop rate to get that recolor of the monk tier. Moving on. Also part of the same set as the chest, Tomb of Sargeras Mythic, but this one you could actually buy in the auction house if you want, Court of Pilfered Rosaries. Next up, we're gonna move on to the legs, which are the repulsive leathery pants. The Emerald Nightmare Heroic Zuvius, uh, you're looking at about an 8% drop rate for the legs. Now, we got to look at how cool that looks on a working. The mask actually works on it. Uh, imbued, Tempest Boots, BFA, Leather Working. Check your local Leather Worker. Actually, uh, this is a BOA, so you got to be a Leather Worker. But there are a similar set that you could get out of, similar piece you get out of Uldir Heroic, by the way, which are where you get the handguards. We're going with handguards or bracers. Actually, no, those are handguards. No, those are bracers, excuse me, my mistake. They are definitely bracers. Uh, the back is the Uldir Heroic, Fetid Devour, 10% on the drop rate. So we have a little bit of Legion, a little bit of BFA here, and just a touch of uh, Wad, which is the headpiece, and the weapon, I believe, is Kata level blacksmithing. Check your local blacksmith or auction house. Here's a little bit of a rough around the edges druid look, which I always like for druids. Uh, Spalders of the Relentless Tracker, the Burning Throne LFR. Uh, there's the Soul Hunter boss, kind of a fair drop rate to pick up those shoulders. Moving on to the chest piece, which of course is from Mythic Battle of Dazzle Ahar. Conclave of the Chosen drops the, in, the Vestments of Indomitable Will. Moving on to a Tauren and the Belt, Miss Stalker's Belt, Isle Expeditions, or your local auction house, the choice is yours. The good thing about that is if you get the Miss Walker's chest piece, you could always sell it, get the gold, buy the belt. That's the way that works, so it's kind of worth it to kind of spam some aisles if you want that. High Tinker's Cape, as I keep saying, one of my favorite capes in the game now. High Tinker Mecha Torque, 10% on the drop rate. Now we're gonna move on to the feet, which are the Rocket Boots Extreme. This is, of course, BC level engineering. Check your local engineer, check your local auction house. Can't really see the boots on this particular worgen. Uh, the hands are the Bam Mental Claws, part of the same tier set as the shoulders and possibly the head, I'm pretty sure. So either way, I think this color scheme, this look, yeah, the head is the Bare Mental Headdress. The Burning Throne LFR, Agrimar, 12% on the drop rate. Looking, that's a really cool looking piece for, for a druid. And the weapon is Soul Twisting Staff, Spires of Iraq, Soul Twister Torok. Decent drop rate at 25%. This whole set is a little, little bit of a rethink from an older set that I did. Matter of fact, this is one of the, I, I did a rendition of this set a very long time ago. Tusked shoulder pad, Zulaman. Uh, that's where you get the shoulders. Or you could buy, I think you could buy that on the auction house as well. Uh, the chest is out of Ice Crown Citadel, normal mode, 25 man, high overlord, Saurfang, to pick up the chest. Now, this looks pretty cool on a Torrin. Abandoned Zandalari Silent Belt, Throne of Thunder, LFR version, Treasures of the Thunder King, is where you can pick up the belt. The legs are basically the gypsy trousers dark shore uh strider clutch mother is rare that drops it with a great drop rate or you could just step up by the gypsy trousers on the auction house the feet are basically zulgarab grillic is the boss and you're looking at about a 48 percent drop rate for the boots grasp of the moonkin shatrath city garrus 50 gold you could also check and, and see Sh shatrath that they sell uh, the shoulders as well, and a few other pieces that you might get from BC because sometimes they do. I'm not 100% sure. There might be a look like there. Warden's Tabard Azuna. Uh, Warden's Emissary Neat Gold and Exalted Rep to get that Tabard, which really is a nice 
tweak to the set. Helm of Imagined Horrors, Hellfire Citadel Heroic, and of course the weapon is the final piece, Wild Gladiator's Energy Staff if you hoard. Oh, keep in mind, this is elite, so this is the kind of thing you either have or you don't. I usually don't slip them in there, in this case I did. Once again, my name is Luxley. I want to thank everybody for watching and leave you with this final thought. Whatever it is by you, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, make it epic.